All right, today's job, we're gonna replace the alternator on my Jeep. First thing to do here is just connect the battery and so you don't electrocute yourself. And go ahead and take the tension off the belt. Pull this off. There we go. Got one harness on the back, which looks nice and gummed up. Main power wires come off. There's two bolts to hold this guy on. Actually, three bolts. So let's go ahead and take those out. Of course, that one's a different size. So two 15 millimeter bolts and one 13 millimeter bolt side here. Okay. Of course, all three bolts are different sizes, so that makes it easier to keep track of. the nut to get the main lead wire off that's also a 13 millimeter. All right, so now that we have the power wire disconnected and the control wire from the back, this should be free to come out, but I think I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver and try to pry this out. Just fits tight on the bracket. Wiggle it out. There you go. Here's the alternator. Give you a better look. Just a bolt here, bolt here, and one that went right there. Here's the old one right there. 240,000 miles on it, so it was making some squeaking sounds and having some voltage fluctuations. So, we'll see what this high quality you know, not factory part has to offer. Even, look at that, it passed. Meets or exceeds. Okay, cool. Who needs those? They look, uh, they look about the same. 
So this is from a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee here. This one's from a 2001 Dodge Durango with the 4.7. This makes more amperage, I think 160 versus 136, and this is cheaper. So the internet said this would bolt up and we're about to find that out. Cooperate, there we go. Well, it sure looks like it's going to fit. That's good. So we have this one over here. short one on the driver's side. That started. And the longest bolt was on the passenger side. Always start your bolts by hand. Where possible. Just get those just a little bit more than hand tight on the first go around. Then I'll come back a second time and check everything. Okay. I look like one of those electric ratchets. That would make things easier, but. This never runs out of battery. Problem is, I run out of battery. Tight. Got this one snugged up. Okay. And the last one. This guy snugged up. Alright, little clip goes in the back, hopefully, maybe. There we go. This goes back on here. use the factory nut right there. Tighten that down. Put that back on there. Get my ratchet on the belt tensioner. Over the alternator, all the other pulleys. Oh, need three hands. Come on. Oh, that's always the hard part. There we go. Got 
that lined up. Just double check. Everything's where it should be. Just Jeep actually did this really nice. Easy to take this off. This is right here. Three bolts. One, two, and three. Way to go, Jeep. You did one thing right. You made this very easy to replace. And of course, you have your belt guide. Just make sure everything's back where it's supposed to and everything's on the ribs. All right, so let's put the battery back in and sparky. Fire it up and see what happens. All good.